What's up, so squad? It is what hump day. That means we're halfway through the week, guys. We are making what another meal I got from Pinterest, and this is I want to say it right the Philly cheesesteak pasta meal. And I got some olive oil. My pan is already heated. My pasta is on cooking. And I'm using panini pasta. This is ball instruction. Some water and salt. Put in your salt because you want to season your pasta. You want it to have flavor. And I'm going in. What about maybe a couple of tablespoons? A couple of tablespoons of oil. And everything you're going to need. And I'm doing it again with these beef fajita steaks. It's quick and easy. And you know what? It's hot. So we need to make things quick fast and easy but still you want it good and delicious welcome to all my new subscribers guys while i'm cutting up these veggies and then i got the vegetables already cut up man i'm taking as much time out less time in the kitchen as possible um while we doing this in here i want to say um guys another shout out this young lady called Remy, R-E-M-E, Remy. She is a stroke survivor. And you know why I like her channel? It is so different. Guys, she brought back memories from when I was working. This is green peppers, onions, and guys and stuff, yellow peppers and stuff like that. She brought back memories from when I was working with working and on my lunch break. Who out there do word search? Who out there haven't done word search in a minute? She does word search. She's a stroke survivor, and her videos are so different. I have not seen anybody doing a word search puzzle, just word search puzzles on YouTube. And the reason I like it because, and she got soothing music playing, right? So you see nothing but her hands, but guess what? She got the word search so visible that you can see the words at the bottom she's looking for, and she's crossing out. And guess what? I'm hunting for words too. I'm young at the screen talking about, they go up police, um, they go sing, go up, go this way. It makes you be so interactive because not only is she using her eyes, but you're using your eyes thinking that you're going to cross out stuff too on the, um, on the screen. So it's really, I like it because it's so different. And I looked at like five or well, four, about three or four videos yesterday just sitting back with the music playing and helping her search for her words like she could really see me. So if you like something like that, go check her out. And of course, these life unconditionally. I've been telling you about my girl, what she's doing over there. Everything's in the description below. Motivating cleaning, much binding, much binding, much binding, cooking, all that good stuff. Two great videos. Guys, go check them out. Let's get back to this meal. I got my veggie sauteing. You know, basically what this is, is cooking is easy. And you can put without vegetables, you put on your steak and cheese. So basically, if you have mushrooms on there, throw some mushrooms in here. We're going to let these cook up for like good five minutes or so. I'm going to let those cook up before I add in my meat. Because remember, this is already seasoned. I'm going to add a little bit of house seasoning to my vegetables. This is garlic, onion powder, pepper, all that good stuff. Add that because that steak is already seasoned. We're going to let that cook up for a couple of minutes. Wash this off my hands. Check on the pasta and we'll be right back. All right, guys. My um, peppers and stuff are ready. Again, this right here is a light. Oh, it smells so good. It's a lifesaver with the steak. With the steak. Just throw it in there. Uh, it's just white paper. And just gonna stir it up. Look at that. And you know what? And this is already cooked. So it's not gonna take that long, right? I'm just gonna let that cook. And I'm gonna what? I'm gonna put this down here in my little thing right here. to later. And you're gonna need heavy cream. This is cooking, let it turn up. Heavy cream, two cups of heavy cream. You will need some moderate jack. Block cheese, four ounces of um, cream cheese of your brand, and then um, a thing of sharp white cheddar. This is all the cheese we're putting in here. So while we chop this cheese up, and I know I'm telling you guys a lot of shout outs, but you know what? Everything's going to be in the description because it's this another lady called Mama T. Uh, <laughs> I got to get together with so many of them. Um, I gotta get her names. I just know it's called Mama T. Mama T speaks. Yes, 
Mama T speaks. Um, she's doing her thing, guys, over there on YouTube. A beautiful lady. Um, she be having her friend on there with her. They on this hundred um pound weight loss journey, and they showing all types of videos on that. And she's cooking up some good things over there. And guess what? Leo Mutt, happy belated birthday, Mama T speaks. And this goes out from this goes out to you <laughs> from these life unconditionally she did this for you happy birthday she did a shout out for you on your channel but you know i had to go over there and figure out you know what you were all about and i love it so happy belated birthday guys go check out mama t speaks channel everything description below and get your coldest water bottle like girl you're doing a lot yes she is but it's cooking and talking give me something to do something to talk about so we're going to chop up all this cheese while wow, the steak is just really simmering you know, they're really done. You're just warming them up. And I'm gonna chop all this cheese up. So this video could be made right. Now I get some butter. Hmm, this might say, girl, what you doing? I don't know not open up nothing. I have an issue every time I'm opening up something. I'm having an issue. So I don't know if you wanna stick around, watch me open up cheese or what it is you guys wanna do, but I'm about to cut up cheese, drain my water on my pasta. So get my butter yes look at that and it's any blocks you want it don't have to be small you want them to melt but and how much cheese you use depends on you know how big is your family how much pasta you make it and things like that cut them in these extra little squares like this and this is a shop white cheddar and a monterey jack shop white cheddar monterey jack Four ounces of Philly that for your cream, but it don't have to be Philly. Whatever your pockets can afford, this wasn't Philly. Cream cheese is cream cheese in my book. Okay, let me stir this up, chop up this cheese, and drain my pasta. And we can continue to the video. We're gonna make the cheese sauce for this, guys. Ooh, I need some strength. Put like two tablespoons of butter in here. I'm going in with my heavy cream, and it's two cups of this, so I got two pints. So it's two cups of heavy cream. You just pour it right in there. You don't gotta take nothing out. Look at that. If you need a measuring cup, you don't. Need. But this is um a really two cups. So, I'm going in with my cream cheese. And I'm just going to throw in my cream cheese. Ah! Did I just burn myself? Yeah, she just burned herself. Wow. <laughs> and I'm throwing in all my other cheeses. And this is going to melt. I turned it down low. We're gonna let this melt. And this is my cheese sauce. And we're gonna put this all together. Come on, something gonna taste good. Mm, mm, mm. I got the other ain't use the whole thing. And that's it. That's all. I got some messes to clean up. We're gonna let this melt down. And the last thing, just add that pasta in there. Oh my God. You know what? Um, oh my God. Cause I told you I got it from Pinterest, never had it before, but just the thought of it is like, oh my god. But hope it gives us the oh my god flavor and taste. But I think the family's gonna love it. Who don't love noodles and cheese and steak? Come on, where they do that at? We'll be back. Okay, guys, look at my cheese sauce. It is doing this thing. See, like one piece of man still, but look at that. Now, oh, this is hot. Going there with my pasta. Woo! <laughs> Ooh. And you just put it up in just like that. Just let it cook up in there just like that. The steak. Mmm. Look at this. This looks good. Oh. And it's gonna finish letting it cook down some more. And to me, I'm just saying, 
I need another piece of cheese. You need to give me another piece of cheese. Uh, my son, my son just don't like anything that comes to any type of white salt. But I don't think you need no more cheese. It's thickening it up. I'm going to add some more seasoning to it. This is this garlic powder, onion powder, guys. I'm going to add to that. We're going to throw some pepper up in there. Like that, put any pepper in it. Throw some pepper up in there. And it's getting thick and it's letting. Look at that. Mmm. And then, you know what I always like in my food. We're gonna let this sit, guys, and let it marinate because it's gonna get a little bit thicker and it's gonna bubble. And at the end, add in some parsley. This with decorations. But we're gonna let this sit like for like five or six minutes so it can get all up in the um the noodles. So we'll get all up in the noodles, guys. This is basically steak and cheese with some noodles and cheese. <laughs> steak with noodles and cheese. I don't know how you pronounce it, but this is what this is, and it looks good. Yes, look at that. We're going to let this simmer for a while. They add some more thickness to it. And yeah, and we're going to top it with the parsley. And we're going to plate this, baby. Okay, guys. I'm smacking because I'm tasting the cheese. When I say this thing tastes good, I better let it sit for like five, ten minutes. And look how it all came together with the thickness. Now, I must admit, because I like cheese, I did went on and used the whole block of cream cheese. Now, it's like any good video, you want it to be decorated, right? Ooh, that tastes good. Throw in some parsley. Now, if you get your hands on some fresh parsley, do what you do. I ain't get my hands on no fresh parsley, okay? They didn't have none in the store. But look at that. Mmm. Look at that. And I just want to like. See the thickness of that cheese. Mmm. Can I taste this with a piece of meat? For well, you guys. I'm trying to get a little piece of meat. I'm trying to get some of everything. Let you guys see. You know we don't do no things over here. I can't get some of everything. I know what. Let me get the pasta first. And then, you know, when I get enough peppers and stuff, it's not my thing. But the flavors of it. There we go. Here we go. I want to taste this. Oh, guys, everybody suggests to you guys to go watch everything in the description below. The coldest water bottle here in the description below. That thing is good. I gotta go. Cause I gotta make me a plate of this. Like, share, subscribe. Almost forgot. Got caught up in the video. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified until my next video, guys. Um, what's this called again? Um, cheese steak pasta. Cheese steak pasta. That's what it is. And it's giving me life. <laughs>